Now that we know the basics of the total field scatter field plane wave source condition, and we also already know how to implement a perfectly matched layer on the edges of the grid, the main thing left for us to do is, so that we can create an FDTD model to address this design challenge, is to figure out how to create a 3D FDTD model. In the last design challenge, we created a two-dimensional FDTD model. So let's use that as a starting point. In that code, we modeled H, Y, E, X, and E, Z components. The values of these fields were allowed to change in the X and the Z directions, but not the Y direction. Take a moment and sketch a diagram that shows how you would extend your existing two-dimensional FDTD model into the Y direction in order to make it fully three-dimensional.